This is Eugene Panrudkovich on the Laptop Screen Doc. The name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP 17-BS series 17-inch laptop and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a 17-BS laptop. Okay, so first let's figure out the model number. So this is a BS series laptop. And the way you can figure that out is on the label on the bottom, it says HP Laptop 17-BS 051OD. Uh, it might work for uh, other laptops that have a B with it. The way to tell if this is the right procedure and the right screen is that this guy has these uh, chrome hinges so that's the distinctive feature and there's 15 dash bs series with chrome hinges that this procedure will work for also okay so what we want to do first is <clears throat> remove the battery we flip the laptop back over and slide both levers to the right and pull the battery out and put it aside so now the laptop is safe to work on and next we're going to show you the tools or some of the tools that I'm going to use. We have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and 1 is the size. We have a smaller PH00 screwdriver. That's just for smaller screws. A pair of metal tweezers. That's to pry and to lift up adhesive tape and to manipulate cables. And a metal spudger to pry things open. Finally, a hobby knife or exacto knife, and that's used to lift up adhesive tape. So the first thing that we have to do is remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. In this case, it's not secured with any screws, so we can just snap it off right away. So that's what we're going to do. We want to put our fingers on the screen side, and using our fingertips or fingernails, lift up and out and listen for snapping sounds so that the bezel will snap off. And in that way, go around the whole screen frame and snap off the bezel. All right, and on the bottom too. It does get a little bit tricky on the bottom. So what you wanna be careful is when you remove the bezel on the bottom, there's some adhesive and you don't want this silver adhesive tape coming off from the screen because that's from the screen itself. So keep snapping and there's a tricky part here so what you do is you kind of manipulate it, lift it up and it finally comes out. So we put the bezel on the side. Next, we want to remove the screen from the screen assembly. And it has two mounting tabs on the top right here and two on the bottom. So we want to remove these two top screws right here, the two inner screws and the two inner screws on the bottom, the two black inner screws on the bottom, not these silver screws. So we do that. When we do that, we tilt the screen back a little bit to make sure it doesn't fall forward on you. And we just put the screws into a single pile so we have a place to keep them and not lose them. And then we have three, and then we have four. Once we do that, we can grab the screen by the tabs and gently lay it down on the laptop. And we have the connector here. So what I want to do is peel it back a little bit from the back of the screen assembly so that we have more room to work with. And then the next step is to lift up this adhesive tape. So we can use the hobby knife to help us to grab the adhesive tape or if we get some fraction traction with uh, fingertips, we can do that also. So lift up the adhesive tape and part of it's gonna be the connector too. 
and then peel it back and grab with both fingertips and then just slide the connector back. I'm going to show you how to slide it back in. So when you slide it back in, you'll feel but not hear two clicks. That means it's properly engaged. And here's a close-up of the connection. When it's pro properly connected, there should, not, should, there should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. All right, let's disconnect it again. Let's take a look at this screen. This is a 17.3 inch slim EDP screen and the connector is on the bottom left hand side. The part number is B173RTN02.1. Now there's a uh, several different part numbers that are compatible with this so when you get your new screen uh, make sure it looks the same and if you like the matte finish make sure it has the matte finish sometimes they can come either matte or glossy so if you want matte you have to specify that and this is a, a WXGA plus screen 1600 by 19 okay you can order this screen from us from screen surgeons and what you get with us is this exact same toolkit that I used in this video. It comes for free with the screen. We have free two to three day shipping in the United States and we ship to most places around the world. Just uh, specify your location when you're checking out. To buy this screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out which will guide you to the right screen and then you can purchase it online. Once you do get this screen in, reconnect the connector like I showed you, mount the screen in the screen assembly, put the two screws in at the top and two at the bottom, and then snap the bezel back on and that should be it. Okay, that's it. When, once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.